watch. I will stand on my watch. What time has God given you to commune with him? A watch, there are eight watches in 24 hours. The church's watch is from 3 to 6. I don't care what we try to pray, we get more done from 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. than any other time. But your personal time may be different. Are you hearing me? I said a lot of y'all say, Pastor, we can't sleep from 3 to 6. We just wake up. We don't know why we're waking up. We just, we just roll over and can't go back to sleep. Then it's time to get up. Okay, just do your business then. Do business with God. He said, and set me on the tower, and I will watch. Now, this is amazing. I will watch to see what? What he will what? You, he will watch to see what he say. He didn't say I'll watch to hear. That what comes out of my mouth, what well, out of his mouth, I see it in its completed form. Okay. And I shall answer when I'm what? Rip your rule. Next verse. Let's go. And the Lord answered and said, write the vision. Who is he talking to? I can't even get y'all to agree on the scripture. <laughs> now you see why we still broke. You see why we still sick, struggling, because we don't want to do any work. We've got a welfare mentality. Welfare has messed us up because we're dependent on a system and we don't have to do nothing for it. That's why y'all play the lottery. If you had faith, you, you would get money in continuously like you won a lottery. Why, why don't you have a confession, money comes in like I won a lottery? Since you haven't won in all these years you've been playing. <laughs> I told you I'm on a rant today one time. Write the what? Vision. And make y'all tell me what you thought that meant. Huh? So if I go to your house and ask you, let me see your vision, your vision, you know, journal, let me see your vision board, let me see what what what's your vision? Could y'all show it to me? Pro you could now. But did you hear what she said? She said, I had five, and I've been marking off. She working this thing. Yeah, yeah. Write the vision and do what? Now, some of you say, I just want a house. I'm helping you here. People just want a house. Give me a house, Lord. And when God give you a little house, you looking funny. That's all you ask for. He'll give you the desires of the He said, make it plain. What it, in other words, he's saying, be strategic. Tell me what you want. It's a lot of houses in the world. Tell me what kind of house you want. Well, Pastor, that's being, that's, that's, you, you don't tell God. Write the vision. Make it plain upon tablets. Upon no books. And he that may run with it, run that he may read it. That means you don't have to bring it to pass. Angels are going to read it and run to people. He'll find a house that's like what's on the paper. She said the house wasn't even for sale. Some kind of way the angels got in there and started manipulating something. Because they kept reading what she wanted. Oh, this is the house that fit. This is the one. This is the one. All I need her to do is stay. I need them to stay in faith. If they stay in faith, I'll work this thing out. It's only when they're wavered that somebody came and almost going to steal what they believe for. How many people riding in your cars living in your houses because you wavered? How many people enjoying your money because you waver? 
God told you something and you start wavering. Well, maybe it ain't coming to pass. It's taking too long. Stop wavering. Tell your neighbor, stop wavering. wavering. Write the vision. Write it. Men, you're bad about that. Most men don't want to write. You just look at the wife. Just write it for us. No. (laughs) Just write it for us. That's telling God you can't steward what you want. Because the first place of stewardship is can I be conditioned and disciplined to write what he said. Well, pastor, if God wanted me to have it, he would give it to me. He wanted them to have that, but they had to write it. They had to believe for it. We were lazy in the church. We are lazy in the church. We lazy in the church. No, you're hearing me. I said we lazy in the church. Yeah, we used to be. <laughs> I'm a, say we used to be. Say I'm disciplined. Say it again. Say I'm disciplined. And dedicated to the promises. To the end. Do you have to bring it to pass? Did they have to come up with the money? No. She took the $10,000. She believed. Come on. The $10,000. The house dropped. They believed that the house would drop. And it dropped. You're looking at the house. I can't. I can't have that. I can't do that. I can't have. You know what I'm saying? You hear me? You hear Anita talk about all the vehicles? She's checking them off. We saw that car. I was like, what in the world is that? I was like, that's a nice car. I didn't know it was a camera because I couldn't see the front of it. We just looking, trying to look in the red seats and all of that. Put it on a list and marked it off. Now, y'all can sit there and try to figure out, well, how, no, yeah, mo, yeah. Go to Joshua 1 and 8. Real simple this morning. Real simple this morning. Because y'all was like, it's not all about material things. Well, write your spiritual things down then. Be so anointed that the dead are raised. Write that down. Write down when you open your mouth, demons flee. Write it down. Stop being so analytical. I'm being so young. Well, I got a worldwide ministry. You want to be so spiritual? Be spiritual then. With your spiritual self, you got to live somewhere. You got to drive something. The most amazing or important decision I ever made in my life was making Jesus Lord in my life. I was in a dark place. I had been to church all my life, but I really didn't know God. I knew church, but I didn't know God. And it was at my darkest hour that I cried out to God and He responded. I want to give you that same opportunity. It changed my whole world, changed my life. I want you to repeat this prayer after me. Father, I come to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe that he is my savior. I believe that he died, was buried, and resurrected for my behalf. I believe he washed my sins away. I'll spend the rest of my life serving him. Fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. I'm yours. And just as simple as that, you're a part of an amazing family. And I just know as he changed my life, he's changing your life to do phenomenal things in the earth. That's the only reason he came. He came because he loved you. And he loves you so much that he sent his only begotten son for you. Now there are ministry partners right there by the phone ready to take your call so they can help you navigate your roles and responsibilities in this new family. Welcome to the family of God. You got to wear some kind of clothes. Don't be the wrong way. I always want to be spiritual. Where you going to live? Jesus didn't have nowhere to lay his. That's a lie. That that scripture has been misinterpreted. He have had nobody to lay his revelation. Head is headship and revelation. Because the Bible says when he was two that the Magi went to his house. Jesus had a house. Let me tell you something. Why do you need a treasurer if you broke? 
Bible says Judas was his treasurer. When the Magi came, he got 30 million when he was two. Jesus wasn't broke. Tell your neighbor, neither am I. This book of the law shall not depart out of your what? Mouth. But what? But you shall what? Meditate what? Day and meditate what? That little journal shouldn't depart. From you. You should meditate on your journal day and night. But that's talking about the word of God. Let me tell you something. I'm in God. I'm in his image and after his likeness. And the Bible says he has hidden his word in my heart. Y'all hearing me? Look, y'all, y'all talking about that means the Bible. You don't even meditate on the Bible day and night. So, so this is silliness. Folk always trying to. Yeah, no, no. Spiritualize ignorance. Y'all carnal. Yeah, but you broke. I take carnality in the spirit. Come on. Stop spiritualizing ignorance. And then the reason we do this is because we can be a tool of evangelism, economic evangelism. So we can show people how good God is. Now when the grants give their testimony, this is what God did for us. Yeah, we go to dominion, but we work the principles. Now how many millennials going to look at their testimony and say, hmm, I, I may trust this God. They look at you and be like, um, mm, no, no. Day and night that you may observe to do all that is written therein. For then you shall make your way prosperous and you shall have. You shall have what? Huh. Say I'm successful. Say I'm prosperous. Because I meditate. Say I'm disciplined and dedicated to meditate. Say day and night. Day and night. Say day and, night. day and night. Hallelujah. Go to Ecclesiastes 5, 6. Ecclesiastes 5, 6. Give me two more minutes. Three, five, five more minutes and I'm, I'm through. Are you hearing me? See, I'm trying. Yeah. When you find out that he's a good father and that what you write down, that's a principle. Remember. Writing it down and being specific is a principle. Looking at it day and night, meditating day and night is a principle. It's a system that's going to work for you. I said it's going to work for you. I said it's going to work for you. Now, if it don't work, you come back to me and I'll prove that you're a liar. I'll show you where there is something in your belief system that short circuit what what you wrote down because the bible says he's not a man that he should lie neither the son of man that he should repent if he said it (laughs) suffer not your mouth to cause your flesh to sin oh what we say the angels will bring it to pass Neither say thou before the angel, it was an error. Your mouth is such a place of power. Your tongue is a place of power that the Bible says that the angels are listening to everything you say. He says, look, be so careful with what you say because the angels are listening. Stuff like I can't afford it. So the angel goes and make a way where you can't afford it. Because the angels, according to Hebrews 1.14, are our servants. The Bible says they are heirs to those who are saved or salvation. Are you hearing me? That means that they are servants to us. And the Bible says whatever you say, they're supposed to bring it to pass. That's how we're going to judge them. 
Bible says we're going to judge angels. On what? How they served you. And we got churches won't even teach about angels. How they serve you. How they serve. I wrote it down. I made it plain. Now they're supposed to run with it and bring it to pass. If I don't waver in my faith, if I stay steadfast, they're going to bring it to pass just like I wrote it down. Then we get to judge them to say, "Mm -mm, that's a little off. That ain't what I asked for. No, no, no. No, you ask for, for a specific car, they bring you something else. That's, that's not what I asked for. <laughs> then he says, don't say it was an error. Because <laughs> they, they're going to bring to pass what comes out of your mouth, good or bad. What? Why y'all looking like that? Y'all scared now. (laughs) Wherefore should God be what? Angry at your what? Do you see how powerful you are? No, no, y'all, y'all, hold on. Do you see it? I can't say anything out of my mouth. Are you hearing me? That I don't want to see. Not even in joking. Hey, Supernatural family, all to my Dominionaires, all my friends and partners, guess what? It's that time we are out of space and it is time to go back to two services. Yes, January the 5th, we are going back to two services, 8 o'clock and 1030. It's going to be phenomenal. Already you know God is going to do tremendous things. We are overwhelmed uh, with our seating and our parking and it's just time for us. So we're going back to two service 8 a.m. the first Sunday of the new year on the Gregorian calendar the first Sunday in January we're going back to two service 8 a.m. and 10 30 a.m. we're gonna be right here it's gonna be phenomenal get your children get everybody come and meet us it's gonna be it's gonna be revelatory supernatural God's gonna do some tremendous things January the 5th 8 o'clock and 10 30 Meet me here. Not even in joking. I said not even in joking. I said not even in joking. You have to become a practitioner of your words. You become a wordsmith that I can't say anything. Why? My words are so precious that an angel are standing guard making it happen. Come here, man of God. So you're talking to somebody and you say, so-and-so don't like me. That angel goes to that person and plants a seed of dislike towards you. And before you said it, they didn't, they didn't, they weren't thinking about you. That's why I say everybody love me and I love all people. I love everybody. Come on, they just hadn't met, they hadn't met me yet. They, they heard about me, but they haven't met the real me yet. Yeah, you ain't hearing me. In my world, there's no haters. So you know what ha- happens now? The angels are kicking out. Look what he says. And destroy the what? Y'all should put that scripture somewhere and make y'all 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 looking a little scary. Don't suffer your mouth to cause your flesh to sin. Neither say before the angel. There's an angel. It was an error. Wherefore God shall be angry at your voice and destroy what? Destroy the what? He's gonna destroy the works of your hand. If you keep saying I'm stressed out, the angel keep putting stress on stress on you. This job is stressing me out. Guess what? More stress at the job. I, I, I don't feel good today. Guess what? The angels make you feel. Come on. Well, I, I'm not going to deny. Here you go with that spiritual ignorance. I'm not going to deny what I feel. No, no, no. I am denying it 
it can't resi it exist in my body. I'm not design, uh, you know, denying that it exists, don't exist. It just can't exist in my body. You know, folk that always had this theological ignorance don't have nothing. Most folk that talk about you ain't on your level. They used to talk about you. Can y'all stand one more? Go Psalms 81. Psalms 81. Woo, that's a heavy scripture. Y'all so mean-mouthed it. Just say anything. I'm going to give you a piece of my mind. I love it. Monique said, I wanted to say something. She said, but I shut up. I tell you, you better have a shut up ministry. Just shut up. Just shut up. She said, I just, I was quiet. She said, I just be quiet. Just be quiet. Psalms, uh, Psalms 81. Let's look at verse, uh, let's look at verse 10. I am the Lord your God, which brought you out of the land of Egypt. Open thou mouth wide. My mama say a closed mouth will never be fed. Instead of begging God, you start talking. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Provision is always in my house. I'm always protected. I always live in safety. I always have abundance. I always have abundance. Yeah, no. No, instead of begging, you remember she said, I don't beg God. I just give him back his word. He says, I brought you out. Now tell somebody and show me how good I am. Open your mouth and I'm going to feel it. Next, next verse. <laughs> but my people, some of you are going to walk out of here today and still not do what we asked you to do. Because you got that spiritual ignorance thing working on you called religion. They will not hearken to my voice. And, and Israel, none, would none of me. Look, next verse. Next verse. So that I gave them up to their own what? Heart's lust. Not desire, your lust. And they walked in their own what? They walked in their what? If you don't say it, you won't see it. And if you don't like, if you don't like what you've been seeing, change what you've been saying. Skip down to verse 14. Skip down to verse 14. Now go back to verse 13. Oh, that my people had hearkened to me and Israel had walked in my ways, I should soon have subdued their enemies and turned my hand against their adversaries. Are you hearing me? You got to say it and say it loud. Y'all walking around. Hey, me, 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 me. No, I want, I want all the angels to hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody in the house hear this. Y'all be quiet. Old folks say, hush. <laughs> hush. <laughs> and just start saying what you want to see in the house. It'll, it'll get rid of all, all, all of the frustration in the house, all of the stress in the house, all, all of the things that come against your peace. Just start speaking in the atmosphere. Just, just get loud. As loud as your kids turn up their game, their music, come on, everybody they got the TV, every room is blasting with some kind of something, just say, hush, everybody turn off everything. Let me speak to everything in this atmosphere. No, no, it ain't going down like this. You don't get to get an attitude in this house. Well, my child, she's just going through. No, she ain't going through. <laughs> I'm going to help her through. It's called breakthrough. No, no, we ain't got the ugly teenager, terrible tools. We ain't going through none of that. Me and my husband go, no, 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 we ain't going through none. I'm going to write this vision. I'm going to make it plain. Angels, hear this. Hear this. There is peace in this house. Every room, every room has the peace of God residing in it. There's safety in this house. No burglar can come near my dwelling place.
place. There are eyes all around this house. If you don't have the ring, if you don't have a camera, there's eyes on your house and he's protecting. A thousand shall fall at my side and ten thousand by my right side, but it shall not come now. No, 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 no. Somebody, well, I don't know if I love you. You love me. You just don't know it yet. The spirit of love live here. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. He don't understand. No, no, no. He understand me. He gets me. Come on. We're going to say it till we see it. He's the only man for me. She's the only woman. No, no. You cut that foolishness out. Come on, we ain't got no money. No, 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 no. We'll never say we don't. No, we are always abundantly supplied. No, no, no. Every bill is paid before it's due in the name of Jesus. Keep messing with me. I'll pay it up for a year. You have not. Don't get that spiritual. Okay. All right. Well, I just, y'all just too materialistic. Well, everything God created turned into material. He said sun and it materialized. He said moon and it materialized. He said rocks and they just sprung up. He said grass and it just came up. He, 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 he said fruit bearing trees and it just sprang up. Fish start swimming in the sea because he said it. Come on, whales and octopus and, and, and dogs and cats. Everything that he said materialized. Become a partner today. Please visit www.dominionworld.org or call toll-free 1-866-579-5807.